Good morning. Welcome to Paint Pixie. Good to see everybody today. I'm Sheila with Sweetie's Creations and Decor, and I am guesting today. So, if you hear a printer, my husband's printing out a few things today, so hopefully we won't hear the printer too much. How is everybody? Come on in, say hello. Let me see who I've got joining me right now. <laughs> Hubby's saying hello to everybody. Here we go. We got us up live right here. It's been a Monday. It's been a Monday. So y'all just excuse my hair. It's still just a little bit wet. I have to let it dry itself. It doesn't do right if I don't just let it dry and just be naturally wavy. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see everybody. So we're going to just do some little pumpkins today and use some of uh, the paints. Let's see y'all. Let me close that drawer. Let me see who's joining me today. Come on in. Say hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. If you're on my page, come on over to Josie's page, Paint Pixie, and that way you can I can see your comments, okay? So I went ahead and painted my board. I had decided something different. At first was going to try some blues. I was inspired by Lindy this weekend and I, she had done some background and some blues. I tried that. I, I wasn't really feeling it with my pumpkins. So hey Amanda, good to see you today. So I've changed. I went ahead and used the chocolate souffle on the background. Just went ahead and put that on there. We're going to do some chip method. And um, let me get that off my paint. So I've been just kind of playing with some colors here. So, one pumpkin that I'm using is this one, and if you watch me this weekend, I was in an event, and I did a couple of these pumpkins. So, the background is going to be your new penny, and this is um, one of the shimmer, I call them shimmer paints, pearl-esque paints. This is the new penny, one of my favorites, Love Copper. And then this here is going to be some of your candied papaya isn't that pretty and a little bit of your Aperol spritz and I kind of mix those together I made a sand so I used some of this Rolotex sand here it's an additive and I mixed it together let me see if I still I may ha can show you if I still have it where I mixed it up. Here it is. Because it's gotten hard now and I really can't use it. So I should have put it in something I could seal. So you, if you seal it, sometimes you can use that a little bit more. I just mixed the sand in there and just made me some texture. So I did that and the paint. You also could add a little glue if you wanted to. Um, or I don't add water to mine. I just do this and add enough paint. So that's the way I do mine. And then I just take a tool, one of these little tools, and I just brush the sand on there. And that's what I do. So that's the way that I like to do mine. That's how I did that one. And my other pumpkin, I had to kind of repaint y'all. Sometimes when you mix paints and you go back to use it again, it doesn't exactly look the color if you don't still have your palette. So I mixed a little bit of the sour apple and a little bit of the chocolate souffle to give me a more of a um, moss color. So I did, let me get a little bit more brown out because that's dried up just a little bit and get me a little bit more of that. So you can see a little bit in the background where I used the other color, but that's okay. I'm now going to take my sander and I'm going to go back and sand a little bit of that off. I like mine sanded just a little bit, just to give it a little, another little dimension, a little bit different. Thank you for joining me today. Hello, hello. Hey, Levada or Levada. I'm trying to remember. Is it Levada or Levada? Uh, there's people with both names. Tell me if you how you pronounce it, sweet pea. Yes, y'all have to excuse my hair because I had to wash it and then it didn't dry. So it's just kind of a, a fluffy mess today. But that's okay. We're good. We're good. 
So I'm just going to sand that back off a little bit on the edges. And I love that look. Sorry for the sanding. You see how it gives it just a little bit of a different, more of a rustic vintage look when you sand it a little bit. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Tammy. Good to see y'all this morning. So if you, I'm going to recap just a minute because I had some people just join in. So the background is your chocolate souffle. And we're just going to kind of pick some paints today and kind of mix with some paints and do some different things. Um, and then the pumpkin is the new penny on the back. And then a little bit of the candy papaya, a little bit of the Aperol spritz mixed together. And then I used a sand texture and just put some sand on there. So it's the same thing that I did in this one where I just did the sanding. You just add a little sand to your paint and it makes it have a little texture, just like that. And then this weekend I made one, another one with a crow, but it's in the kitchen. I didn't think to, to get that. So now we're going to kind of do our background a little bit different so that when we scrape it, good morning, thank you for sprinkling, that we have a little bit of a different type of background. So listen, we're all artists, so we all think different. And so do, do you. Do you? So I'm going to put a little bit of the Aperol Spritz. I'm just going to load that in just a brush here. And I'm just going to put that, just kind of dry it on some different places. Doesn't have to be anything particular, anything just right, just do you. I've been kind of just playing with some different things this morning. My mind just changed on what I wanted to do. <laughs> and that happens. So just take a little bit and put it in some different places. And when we when we chip this off, you're going to have some different colors in the background. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the papaya, and I'm going to do the same. It doesn't have to be anything perfect, y'all, at all, because you're it's not going to show when you get it done. It'll just have some different type colors in it. You also could do this and put a different texture on there, or leave it off completely just totally up to you what you want to do i'll put a little of that in and i think i'm gonna put a little green too because i think the green will give it a little color so let's take a little bit of that and i accidentally got that one in the blue so let me get that back out. i started out with blue my intentions were i saw lindy this weekend she mixed some blues in the background and i was going to do the blues and then I just was not feeling that blue, and I had to change my mind a little bit. So, I did. Good morning. Yeah, just a little something different. And this is something that you can do on anything for a background, just to give it another little dimension, a different little texture. And you can just mix and match your paints. And I love to mix the Paint Pixie paints because they mix so well. They do really well mixed. So let's just put some of the mossy green in here as well. And listen, no telling what this will look like, but you know what? I've done this before and I like the way it looks, so we're just going to do it again. So I mixed a little bit of the green, The this is sour apple, sour apple, and a little bit of the chocolate souffle. That's going to give you a moss color that's going to give you this mossy color so you see how mossy it is that's the color it's going to give you thank you for the thumbs up hey g good morning good morning if y'all don't know me i'm sheila from sweeties creations and decor and i like to uh guest on josie's page and i try to come on every week or every other week show you some different things that she's doing or give you some different colors now the color of the month is the april april spritz that's the color of the month i'm pretty sure that's still the same if anything's different josie will let me know i don't know if she's available today she might be busy now i'm just going to take a little bit of that apple without it looking like moss and just put a little bit of that lightness in here as well just kind of painting up the back 
just going to give it like a coat of many colors, a coat of many colors, and just kind of blend it where you want. And then you're going to have some different colors when we scrape it. Hopefully it's going to do well. We're hoping it does. So let's put a little bit more of the penny, new penny in here, just in a couple places, just to give it that little look. Doesn't have to be anything prepared. And I think that's going to be fine. We could do the same thing on the sides too, if we wanted to. So we could take a little bit and put it on the side, kind of blend that in a little bit. And I'm just taking the same paintbrush and just putting it around so that we can kind of blend that, get the different colors, use up our paint a little bit. You don't have to worry about it being the different colors in your brush because it's going to all blend in anyway. Just put a little bit on the side. I'm just using the orange here. We can always go back and get some of the other, but I think that's all we'll need. It's not going to show up as much as the other, but it's still going to look okay. All right, so we'll just do that. We'll just do that. Let me put a little bit of the copper right in there. Okay, I think that'll work. I think that will work. I think we'll have that good blending there. I'm looking, looking, looking. I'll put a little bit right in here. And there's a little bit different colors in my brush, which was fine. And then you can take a little bit more of the green if you want to and put a little bit of that on the side and just kind of mix that in as well. So that's all we're going to do to that. And let's get that good and dry because we're going to put a coat of paint on top of it and then chip it off. So we're going to do that. We're going to add our pumpkins. We've got some little pieces of pixie dough already done that I'm going to use on top of the pumpkins. That'll be cute. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, I love it just like that. You know, you could just put your pumpkins in just like that. You wouldn't even have to put a top coat. Let, you know, let's dry this just a little bit and let's see how it would look if we if we just left it in like a palette of colors here. Y'all like it, man? It kind of looks like fall leaves, doesn't it? That is, so that's a good idea. We might try that. We might try that. So let's see. Let's try to get that a little dry. Let's sand it off just a little bit and let's see how that looks. We may just want to use this palette here and not put a color and chip it on top. You're at the waiting room of the doctor. Oh, I'm sorry you don't get the notifications. If you're signed up on either my Telegram or on my channel, you would get a notification. So if you're not following me, come on over, follow my page, and you will get notifications. And I also put a note out on my channel. Okay, y'all, let's see how that looks. We can always paint over, right? Because actually there's blue underneath this and because um, I changed my mind. So let's sand some off. Let's do our edges first. And we may just want to use this palette. That's a good idea. I kind of like this palette. And you can just kind of sand it and blend that in just a little bit more and make it look a little chippy. If this one's too rough, I can use the other one. That one might be a little rough. Let me try my other sander. It kind of looks... This might be a little smoother. I'm kind of liking that, y'all. I'm kind of liking it. Let's see how that looks. Something different. Something very different. This is just a little board. I think I got this at um, the Hob Lob. And I believe I added this. I think I put... No, that might... Oh, it was here with a string. And then I added the, the copper wire because I didn't like the string. I remember. Look, y'all, that's looking chippy and old. I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of digging that. I didn't really even think about that. That I'm kind of liking it. What do y'all think? Give me a thumbs up if y'all like that or a heart. Yeah, give me a heart. That's going to help. I don't know if it'll work. There we go. That'll help Josie's page. Yes, look for that because uh, I do have I did put a notification and I also have a channel. 
I'm kind of liking it. I am too. I'm liking that. Just sanding it off a little bit. Just make it a little bit more rustic. I kind of like. I'm kind of liking it. Yes, it's looking looking very rustic without having to put that on there and chip it off. So it's another chippy method. You've got a sander. I've got a hand sander. That would have been good too. Because I just thought of that. And I'm liking the edges. And it's giving it a different look. I love that. I have done this before with sanding it. And I had forgotten that. So y'all let me get an in-between. Seems like I've got a piece of sandpaper up here. Let me see if I see it. If not, I can get one out. This is what it looked like with the sand, yes. I just mixed the sand and some paint and made the roughness on my pumpkin. Hold on, y'all. This one might, let's try this one. That's a little bit different. Let's see if it'll make any difference. I love these little gator sanders. You just take your Velcro off, put another one on. Let's see if this one will take off a little bit. Oh yeah, let's do some on the sides too. This makes a mess, but that's I'm okay. I'm okay with a mess. If y'all know me, I'm a messy painter. I'm also a messy creator, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> hey Shanna, how are you? Shana or Shanna? Shana, I call you Shanna, and then um, and then I said I believe it's Shana. So if I call you the wrong name, y'all just let me know. Hey Donna. Um, I used this sand here that's a texture that you mix with, um, for, you know, people did their walls in it. But I believe you could use some regular sand as long as it'll stir up in there good with your paint. Well, I think that would work. I think that would work. And then you just get you a little, you just use a palette knife and you just put a little sand on there for a little texture. Yeah, that's looking good, y'all. That was a good idea. Good idea. I'm loving the way that looks because it made it look chippy and I have forgotten this because I used to do mine this way but it's been a little while and I thought oh I like that now I got a little rough in here with that other sandpaper but I'm okay with it I'm okay with it being just a tad rough let's get in here a little bit around these little places here this is just a little board that I got at um, the Hobby Lobby one time on sale. Now, I think last year they may have had these in the Christmas section or the fall section. I can't remember, and I was able to get, I, I tried to look for more this year um, because they were a good deal to get it marked down. Now, a little bit of that blue is coming in right here because I did have some blue on the board. But I'm not going to worry about it. I think it'll be fine to have that in there. But you could always go back and put a little bit of paint over it. So I could I could just take a little bit of this. Get a little bit off my brush. Let's see. Let's get it in a little bit of water here. What I do with my paper towel. Let's see if we can just kind of blend that back a little bit. With just a little orange and just kind of blend it in and that kind of take care of that blue but it won't really show it'll be fine I kind of like it I'm liking the way that's looking I definitely would use paint pixie brushes I do not have many except for the big ones and I did use the paint pixie this brush to do the background so that's okay even if a little bit of the blue comes in because it makes it look so that's all you do y'all just put some paint on there just put some paint on there. Now let's get rid of this paper. Let's get rid of this stuff on this paper. Let's put it in. It does kind of make a mess, but I am liking the way that came out. I am too. Yes, I can go back over the colors. Hey, Shelly. Yeah, I think you could use sand, any kind of sand. As long as it has the texture that it'll stick to what you're doing. You're going to add paint to it, but if it doesn't stick enough, you could put a little bit of glue in there. So this is what we did on our board, y'all. Um, 
I was going to do blues. I decided against the blues. I wasn't feeling the blues with what I was going to do with my pumpkins. So I changed my mind on that. And I repainted it in the chocolate souffle on the bottom. And then I was adding these colors. And I was going to put another color on top and chip it off. And then I thought, you know, this will be cool just like it is. So I took a little bit of the new penny, the Aperol Spritz, the Candy Papaya, the Sour Apple mixed with a little bit of the Brown Souffle to make it look kind of mossy. And then I just, just took my brush and just put paint on there. No particular way just to make it have just a little bit of different colors here and there. Now we're going to put our pumpkins on there. So this is going to be pretty simple, but I think it'll come out cute. Let's go ahead and paint while we got the paint out before it dries. Let's go ahead and get our two pieces finished here. Uh, and I think I accidentally just put my brush in that other paint. Let me get that out for my green here. So I'm going to take a little bit more of the sour apple. And these are some samples that Josie sent me to be able to um, be on, on her page. Just some different colors that I could try. And I'm going to mix a little bit of the brown souffle and that green. And it gives it a really pretty moss color. I didn't quite get enough green, I don't think, because that's looking a little bit too brown. So let's put just a tad more of that. And that's, these are just little sample bottles that she sent me. We're going to be doing an event. And so she wanted to send me some colors that I could try. And so October 26th, Paint Pixie and Digital Deco Designs will be having a Christmas winter collaboration. And that will be streaming in Craft Round the Clock, Sweet Crafted Tre Sweet Creations Treasures, and sweet treasures lives for creators um also in adoria creations sharing and in christie's group um the dashing willow uh sharing group so it'll be sh it'll be shared in all of those groups so it'll be a fun, fun Saturday. Y'all plan on watching. If you're not going to be around, you can go back and watch replay. But we would appreciate it. We're going to be using um, Paint Pixie paints. And we'll be using Kathy's Digital Deco Designs. It'll be fun, fun, fun. It's going to be a great time. So I'm just going to paint that up there, y'all, and then I might go back and dry brush a little bit. I'm just going to get that all painted up. And this is the Pixie Dough. If you've never used the Pixie Dough, it is Josie's Dough. It is, I like it because the great thing about her dough is that it bends. So you can bend it around things. You don't have to, and this is a lot less expensive than those wood bendable products if you know what I mean with the heat because this is a lot better pours a little thinner and also will always bend so it's never going to dry where it won't bend these are some I've had done for a little while it's a great product to use as molds and you can use any silicone molds Josie does have some molds but that's what it is hold on y'all let me get right in here, get my paint pushed in there just a little bit more, and we'll probably put a dry brush on that one. Okay, let me put that paint brush there. Let's see, I've got some pixie dough here. I used all my other, this is some that was sent to me with a kit. See how it feels like marshmallow, and it comes out like marshmallow cream, <laughs> just like that. Isn't that fun? So this is a fun, fun dough. I like mixing it. And so I have all kinds that I've already done. And I'm going to show you that they're still flexible. So here's one I've done. They're still flexible. They're going to bend around things. Um, it's a great product. 
So you can pour in any of the silicone. You do want to put some cornstarch in there. And um, here's one of Josie's molds. They're thick. I like the thick. They pop right out as soon as you get them done. Now what I like to do is put mine in the freezer, especially if I'm in a hurry and I'm wanting to use it. I'll put them in the freezer for 20 minutes while I'm getting my other things ready and then I can just pop that pixie dough right out and it works great. If y'all only could see my crazy husband and the things he does. <laughs> he got to be crazy to... Yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh, we love to have fun. We like to dance and do all kinds of things. So we're just both a little... <laughs> we met in a dance class, so. And so let's now paint one of these colors on this one. It's going to go right here. I think I'm going to use the... Maybe we'll do a little bit of papaya. Let's mix a little bit of that papaya with our ap apricot spritz. And let's do this one in that color. I accidentally got some of the brown paint on there, but it's going to paint over, so it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Let's just mix a little bit of that up here right on our palette. And y'all, I just use a, a paper plate and just kind of mix my color up on my palette like I want it. So we'll go ahead and paint this up and then we can always do a dry brush on top or you can do some. You can mix brown paint and water. You can put a wax. Any of those things you want to. Go ahead and get these painted up so they kind of dry. You see it's flexible. And I think this will be pretty on there to cover the little holes. So this actually was a garland that I bought last year. At the end of the season, look for these. They had these garlands. I already had one, but I thought, well, I can take these off and use them. And I kept the string they came on. And so then I was able to use that for my bows. So I got a two and one, and it was marked down. I want to say I was surprised there was still a couple of those left. I think it when it when it was either 80 or 90 percent down. I went and looked. I said, you know, I bet they don't have anything. I even found some frames. So you just got to go with the right time sometimes. But that I, I don't buy a ton of things in. To be honest, I don't buy a ton of things in there. It usually has to be when they have things marked down. I usually just buy marked down. I don't buy a lot of the things to redo or anything like that um, because I thrift and I have so many items already I don't need anything else to be honest. Uh, I've got so many surfaces and so many things that I've gotten from my family that I just have tons of stuff that I need to use up because y'all, y'all, if y'all could see all around me you'd understand. There is supplies everywhere. And this is actually my husband's office. That's why he's doing his printing in here. He's, uh, he's having to print off some things for a class he's taken. And uh, <laughs> I'm in his office, so I can't say anything. Our guest room, we like to leave for guests, but I may be moving in there if we can um, maneuver some furniture in there. I got my mom's furniture, my aunt's furniture, I, you know, I have everybody's stuff, so. Okay, that's looking good, that's looking good. Okay, we got those painted. Y'all are just getting paint everywhere. You had to cut yours even after curing? Yes, sometimes you do have to cut the edges. I do. Ha I have had to trim mine around the edge. That's with any mold or any kind of stuff you use. Um, I used clay. I, I wasn't r as crazy about the clay because um, it cracks, and I don't like the cracking. So, I, so it wasn't my favorite. Uh, but I have had to trim around these two, and that's just part of it. That doesn't bother me. I just take those little scissors you get from the Dollar Tree. They do really well around this, and that's how I cut mine off. I had to trim these just a little bit. So that just, it just depends on the mold, y'all, because sometimes that happens. Now, I've used, I've used her molds, and I haven't, I didn't have to trim any of those roses that I did in that, for the way it was made. So, let's get this off. Now, let's dry those up just a little bit. They dry real well, but you don't want to, you know, when you want to keep your heat moving when you're drying them. 
Like a marshmallow fluff, yes. You like it too, Tammy? Good. It is fun. It is fun. I I like it. It's a fun it's a fun type of material to play with, isn't it? It is. But I had to trim these. These were in a little bitty mold and to be honest, it if you buy some of those molds from Amazon, they're you know, they're just inexpensive molds. And then you have to just kind of and these were little bitty ones like uh let's see, like this. And they're really, they're thin because they're made for candy or, or something. And they're really hard to get it out without having some on the edge. And that's just the way they do. So Josie may be making some more molds. Your granddaughter loves it. I bet it's fun. Kids have fun with it. They do. This kind of reminds me of the coat of many colors, y'all. The coat of many colors. Thinking about that song. Okay, so we're going to put our little pumpkins are going to go on here. Kind of side by side. This one may have to overlap just a little bit. So I'm going to take this and put on this one. And I just use either some uh, tight bond or you can use the three-in-one. Tight bond works real well for me. I do not use um, hot glue because the hot glue... Um, makes it have a little hump in it and I don't like that I like mine to lay flat and the hot glue sometimes does not stick as well so it's better to use like the tight bond glue on it kind of like the same thing you do with any kind of wood this will work on besides wood I'm just gonna put that right there it's gonna cover those two little holes and give us a little decor right there Let's move it just a little bit. That's going to cover that up just a little bit. And I like the way it looks. Look how pretty that made that look. Isn't that pretty? Let's do the green one. And I'm almost out of this glue, so it's getting toward the end here. I keep saying that, and then I just keep getting it out because it's still got some in it. <laughs> I leave it upside down. I store it upside down. That way you get more out of it. Just put your top on, put it upside down, and I usually have a nail in it. Okay, we'll do that. Just stick a nail in the end, and that's going to help keep it open. Let's put this green one on here. And we'll decide if we want to put something on our pumpkins. That's looking good. Let's see, I see one little place, y'all. One little place here I want to get. I got a little water in my brush, so I think that'll bring it in. Just look. There we go. Saw a couple little spots right there in it. Okay, that worked. So I do like that it's bendable, and you can you can use it any time after it dries, even. So there we go on that one. So well, we'll have to put a little something on it because I want it to kind of put a little paint. This one I see a little place on this one too. A little bit of white, so let me bring that out. Okay, so I think what I'll do on that one is take a little bit. Let me get a little brush here. That one's still a little wet. Let me get this one. This one's dry. I'm gonna take a little bit of that copper. Take a little bit off. I put just a little bit of copper in it too to kind of make it shine up just a little bit kind of match now let's take a little bit on this one let's get this out see if we can just get this out of our brush without having to a lot of times you can just take your paper towel and do the ends these are just those inexpensive dollar store and you see how they look I use those a lot of times for just a dry brush so I'm gonna get a little bit of that green I'm gonna tap a little bit off and oh yeah that's gonna lighten that up a little bit too there we go and then that one's got a little highlight that way just play with your paints hey Debbie how are you good to see you today the green pumpkin is the same thing it was a garland it had 
large, small, have these large, then small, large, and small. And these came from the Hobby Lobby, and I believe they have them this year. They're in a garland. I took them off. They had the, th the um, jute through the back of them. I already had one, but I bought these to use individually like this for pumpkins. I thought that was a good deal to do that and take them apart, and they've worked really well. I've used them in quite a few projects. All right, we've got that. So now let's see what else we want to do with these pumpkins. Now, I do have one of Kathy's prints, and this is the little book stack. This is the little jar, and this comes on this sheet. It's one of her Aphiramas, 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 how they said it. Y'all might pronounce it a different way. That's what some, That's the way some, I heard somebody say it. Affirma. You get uh, six of these on a sheet. So these two and these other ones come on a sheet. And you get the whole sheet. Ooh. And so I'm thinking about putting the little books on this one. I kind of fussy cut it a little bit. I might put the little books on there. I'm kind of liking that. So you can just take your scissors and just kind of fussy cut it like you want. Any way you want to do it. These can be used for scrapbooking, journals, anything like that. There's still some people that do some scrapbooks. And a lot of people that do journals. So I like to just take it and kind of cut it out like I want. And I think that'll be cute on this pumpkin just to give it a little color. The reason I chose this one was for that little blue book. And then I didn't use the blue in there. Um, I like that rate too. It's kind of cute. The rate's cute. This one might be a little bit too big. The rake would be cute. There's the books. The little jar, let's see. The little jar is cute too, y'all. What do y'all think? All right, let me cut the rake out too. Let's see which one of these we might like. I like to use Kathy's prints. Just for a little something, something. So here's the jar. And we can still make that fit. Cut a little bit off of that one. And here's the little rake. Let's take a little bit more off of here. Here's the little rake. So here's the little rake. And I can put some um, wax or something on the edges to hide some of our white. Hey, Karen, good morning. Good to see you today. You're in... Arkansas? Awesome. Awesome. Okay, and here's the little jar. Cut that out a little bit more. So the jar, give me a heart. If you like the little rake, give me a thumbs up. There's the little rake. And we can go over with some wax or something on the side to kind of cover up some of the white. Then I also have the books. I can't decide which one I like. I like them all. You're liking the rake. I'm seeing a thumbs up for the rake. What you cooking, Debbie? Hey, Karen. The rake. Y'all are liking the rake? I'm seeing the rake. More thumbs up than anything, yeah. Okay, y'all are liking the little rake. I like the little rake, too. Y'all, I love to make the rakes. Have y'all made one? Um, you can do different things. I found a little rake during the summer that came from the Dollar Tree, one of those little kids' rakes. I took it, and I made grunge with the coffee grunge, and I grunged it with a little glue and grunged it all the way up and put it out there just for a decor for the summer. It was really cute. And then I did some of the tools too. Some of the tools you get at the dollar store. I did some of those too and it was really, really cute. I liked it. I thought it came out really good. All right, I'm gonna put the little rake on this one. <laughs> you meant cool, we thought you were cooking. <laughs> Oh, 45 degrees today? Oh my goodness, Karen, it's 70s in the south. 
and uh, that's cool for us. That's a coolness for us. Coolness. We need it. I'm telling you. And we're going back up to the 80s. I'm ready for fall. It has been hot, hot, hot this summer. And uh, our air conditioner just never stops. The bills have been crazy. And I am ready for some fall weather. And we love fall because we can leave our windows open for a little while. Our house gets a really good breeze with the windows. Okay, I think that little rate is going to be cute. I'll trim it just a little bit more here and there. I love these little scissors. They cut really, really well for in-between things. I might have a little... I had a little... little... We may have a little leaf somewhere. But yes, this, those were Kathy from Digital Deco Designs. I thought I had a little lit. Here's one. Okay, well, we might use that on something else, but I kind of like this. And I'm okay with it being. So let's put a little bit. And I am using um, Force Field Satin. And this is the what I use to put my decoupage on with. This is also a paint pixie. And it's a little watery, and I like the watery because it does really well with these. And then if you get a little bit on here, I did get a little bit on there, but it's going to dry, and I think it'll be fine. So let's get that. Let's see if we can get that on. The rate's cute on there. Looks cute. I like the little rake. I kind of turned it in an angle. That's more of what it was like. So that's cute. So that one was small enough to put on there. I don't know if I've got anything that's small enough on here unless I cut something out. Because these are kind of big. So I think we'll just leave this one like it is. Because the books are a little big on here too. You can do, if you get the downloads, you can do them any size you want. So you could make them a little bit smaller with the downloads. So we're going to put these on our board. And I think we'll put a bow up there at the top. That's what I'm feeling. So I'm going to put this on with some hot glue. You could also use some of your wood glue on this. Make it last. Make sure that it's on there really well. Looks like I'm going to have to get another glue stick. I think I've got one right here. I'm just leaving a little bit at the bottom and enough to where we can put a bow up there at the top. I'm feeling a bow on that. You're in Northwest Arkansas near Branson, Missouri. Oh, okay, Karen. Hey, Anita. Yeah, fall is around the corner. It is. But... If you live in the South, you know that we have a little tease. Usually in September, we have a little tease. Football season, the football players are all excited that we're going to have a little. <laughs> and then, boom, we get 80 degrees again. So we just never know here. We never, never know. I may have gotten that just a tad. I think it's okay. I thought I got it a little crooked. And this one's going to go right here. And I'm okay if it hangs off the side just a tad. I am okay with that. Or could put that 3D. I don't know if I like that. Let me see, y'all. Let me see what y'all think. Sometimes you can just do a little. Y'all let me know if you like it in a 3D look on a on the Yes, Tammy, the same place this one's from. They were on a garland. I cut them off of a garland. Do y'all like it raised up like that? Give me a heart if you like that. I, that might give it a little 3D look. Y'all like that look? You do? Yes, this was a garland. It came from the Hobby Lobby. 
and um, they were just all on a string. You can put them up, put it out up on your mantle. It's long enough for the mantle. And I bought it, took it apart, pulled the string out, and then use, using the pumpkins. You like it? Yeah. I do too. It kind of gives a little look. Okay, y'all might have to have my other, with that other glue stick, I'll find it. So let's put that right there. Okay, let me grab a glue stick right here. I buy the great big box of glue sticks because I used to use the um, Gorilla sticks and I they, they're not doing any better. I don't know if they've changed the formula, but it's kind of um, very, very stringy. So I just started getting these. I, and if you'll do it your tool a little bit, you can keep that from... Yeah, I'm okay if it hangs off a little bit. I'm all right with that. That does not bother me. Let's push that down. I like that. We could decorate this up with a couple little things. I kind of like it plain. I might put something on the bow. There we go. We got those two. The green was um, the sour apple and a little bit of the brown souffle mixed together. And that will give you your moss color here. That gives you that moss color. I've got a lot of colors on my palette. That makes the moss right there. By mixing those two together so you can mix a lot of these paints together and get you some other colors so that's one thing I love about the uh, paint pixie paint it goes on really well and you can mix the colors very easily so I'm liking that I think we'll do a bow though yeah I do like it like that too let me go ahead and put another stick in I like these long ones. They last a long time. And I just heat the end of mine. I don't melt it. Just heat it a little bit where it'll stick to the other one. And that way, especially in those Ryobis, you want it to keep flowing. Because if you don't do that, it kind of stops. Then you have to keep pushing it in. So I've kind of learned. So let's make us a little bow and see what we've got here. Because we got the colors here in these fabrics. So let's try that. Let me just use my bow dabra. And I might need some more. I just kind of, I had those blues out and decided against those. So I may have to grab some more material. But I have plenty, plenty, plenty. Y'all, I coffee stain a lot of mine. I love the scent. And I like I like that kind of look. I like the rustic, uh, vintage kind of look. Primitive, all those things. Um, I like a lot of primitive stuff. Now, I used to make some of the primitive dolls and stuff. I don't really make those anymore. But um, I love when people do make it. All, it looks really pretty. And you have a lot of strings with these materials. Now, some of these, these two, I believe may have come from either Walmart or Joann's. Either Walmart or Joann's. I'm not sure. They smell so delicious. If y'all could just have smell-o-vision, it's awesome. So you do have to twist these because they do not have double-sided. Um, some of these other ones that I have are from Jubilee Fabrics, and you can get those. And it's okay if you don't, if you only have three loops, it's going to mix in. It does look like falling leaves, doesn't it, Debbie? I think so too. It looks like falling leaves. I love it. Yep, I was going to paint over it, and everybody said, no, 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 it looks good. So I said, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I would have done it a little different maybe if I thought I wasn't painting over it. But I think it still turned out cute. Now this is just a piece of muslin. And you can get this even at Walmart. Sometimes you can find it on sale at Joann's if they're having a good sale. And it seems like right now they do have some fabric on sale. Seems like I just, y'all, I get so many emails from them. And I hate to not get them because they send coupons and stuff. But it seems like they're having some kind of... Um, some kind of sale right now so maybe a 60% off coupon or something I can't remember and it said fall fabric was on sale and the fall florals okay let's get let's get a couple more 
and I take my material and I keep it in a bag after I coffee stain it. Let's take a little bit of this. Let me cut a piece of this. Let's see if this will be long enough. I don't know where I got this material. It's just a piece of orange. Now my neighbor did give me a lot of material too when she moved. I got some from her. Let's see what else we got in here. And I got some that's not grunged. We can use as well. So let's see. I've got plenty of that out. Okay. We use this orange. It's kind of a pumpkin orange. And I'm just crisscrossing back and forth into this. Just, just make a loop here. And a loop there and then if you have enough material you can make loops at the bottom as well we can put a little bit of this color in there this is kind of a uh, it looks kind of reddish but it's really a rust rust color and this was Jubilee fabric so it's the same on either side they have a lot of um, those kind of they have a lot of double-sided fabric which is really good when you're using it this came out of one of those um, rugs that they have at the five below. Now I will tell you all the material is this kind, kind of like chiffon. It is not cotton. I, it looks like cotton and I was so excited to find one but I'm not as crazy about the material so I probably wouldn't buy another one but it still was a good buy for that price. Let's put a little piece, another piece of muslin in there. Hey, Brianna, how are you? Good to see you today, friend. Are you going to be on later? If y'all don't have not followed my friends that come on on their business, please give them a follow. Josie encourages uh, everybody to come on on their business page too, and Brianna's going to be in our event. So she'll be doing something pretty with some of these paints and some of Kathy's beautiful prints. Queen Bee's Bits and Baubles. Mm -hmm. Y'all go give her a follow as well. If you just join me, I'm Sheila from Sweeties Creations and Decor. I've been creating since 20... Well, I actually have done crafts pretty much all my life. My grandmother and I did crafts when I was young. We made Barbie clothes and all kinds of things. Um, but I started doing lives on Facebook in 2021 after my mom passed. And she told me that I should take early retirement and do something I love. And she said, you do, you do such a beautiful job and you should do that. So in my mom's memory, my husband and I agreed I could go ahead and retire. But I stay very busy. I tell you, I don't know how we did things when we work. My husband still works. So that is looking cute, y'all. And then we're just going to fluff it out, fluff it, fluff it. You're welcome. You're excited. It was textures that you got from Fine Below. Now, I know that years ago, I got a rug like that that I took apart, and I don't remember where I got it from. Um, and it was actually cotton. It actually had cotton. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to see how I had this done here. I'm going to make sure I got all my tails kind of pulled down. And I, it was the cotton material. And I used to make rugs and I and I made the rag rugs. I haven't made one in years. Um, I got rid of it and gave it to somebody. I wish I hadn't. I would have taken it apart and used that material. <laughs> you know what? Every time we get rid of something, isn't it something you can use? And you're going, oh my goodness, why did I get rid of that? Now I need it. That's just part of it, y'all. Part of it. It happens. I didn't end up using that one, so we'll just put that one back. I'm going to trim these all. I think I'm going to use the scissors, those good scissors. I hide these so that I don't use them on other things. 
So that one could have been a little tighter there, but it's okay. We'll see what we can put on our bow now. All right, let's look here. Oh, let's trim that one. That one's a little hairy right there. Let me trim that off. And let's get this back. I'm thinking I might put a leaf. So let's see here. We've got some little things here that I can put on there. Got a little pumpkin here. Like the little pumpkin on there. That's cute. Let's see what else. I think we'll put a little greenery on there. I do like the little leaf. So I think we'll put that on there. See which side I want to put that. I think I'll put it there. Let's do that. This is just a little leaf that I had off of some pit berries. So I've got some pit berries down here that have leaves on them. I think it's these. These came from the Hobby Lobby when they had them on sale. They've got them on sale right now. And this one actually is like a candle ring. But I buy these candle rings and then I use the things on it. So that's what I like to do. These were, um, this one was $5.99 and then 40% off. So you can get a lot out of this if you buy them like this because you can use a lot of these beads, a lot of these things here. I like the little beads as well. Let's put this little pumpkin on there and then we might put some greenery behind it. The little pumpkin is from um, the mix and you can get different ones bowl mixtures you can buy bowl mixtures and use those now I do have some bowl mixture coming from factory direct I've got some of that coming and it will be here sometime this week and it's more the little I forgot what they call them now. I like the little berries. And I'm thinking I'm going to use that in an arrangement. But I think I'll probably have some left over. And I'm just putting some greenery in there now. This is just a little berry bush. And I've also got today, I've got another glue tool coming. Because this one, the batteries are not holding up very long. In fact, the battery will be out before I get off. And um, so I'm getting one of those, the little pin. I want to try those. I see everybody doing them and they, they like it. So I said, well, that's good for little bitty things. That way you don't have to worry about your fingers getting burnt. I had one of the little Ryobis. I will just tell y'all, it wasn't worth the money for us. It did not do well. So I, I can't use it. It just, it just puttered out. <laughs> I'm going to put a little piece of pit berry on there. Did y'all enjoy this today? Let me know if you enjoyed it. Cotton. Oh, I love the cotton too because you know, my parents were um, my grandparents were cotton farmers so I love cotton. I've got cotton in my kitchen instead of farmhouse because I really don't have a farmhouse. I live I still live in the city even though we're kind of not really country but I live in a subdivision so an older subdivision so I just do cotton because I like the cotton stuff so I have a cotton sign in my kitchen oh y'all this glue's kind of sticky today so that's looking cute in our bow let's put a little bit of um I've got some lighter greenery as well. I love to use this too. This comes from the Hobby Lobby. So what I buy from Hobby Lobby, I tell y'all, is always on sale. I don't, I don't buy a lot of regular stuff there unless it's just something like um, some of the plate um, chargers or something like that that are on sale. You know, they're like $1.99 or something like that all the time or that's what they were. I don't know if they still are. And, you know, something like that's that's a good deal. Uh, but otherwise, I kind of look for stuff to be on sale. I kind of wait for it. I kind of look. It's not something I can really use. Yes. You got some sequin material from there? Cool. Oh, in your... Yeah, I had some... Um, mine was not sequined. It was, But it did have the threads in it, like gold and silver threads through it. Yes. Thank y'all for being here. I appreciate it. 
and we are almost through we are almost through i've enjoyed being with y'all today y'all i just took tore my pumpkin up there a little bit i accidentally touched some glue on it that's okay because i'll put some paint on it and fix it up it'll be all right or you know what you stick something on it it'll all look okay so just got a little bit of greenery and stuff in there just to add some few little things a little bit of pit berries you could add more you can add some of these little um these little balls that come in here i like these too these are pretty cool but this you know it's not bad when you when you don't pay but that much and then you can use it on other things so don't don't overlook the little candle rings because uh, sometimes they have a lot more to offer in there i'm gonna put that little ball right there there we go kind of like that all right let's see if we can put our bow on here I think this is going to be cute. And then, then we got the little hanger. You can also put little beads on your hanger if you want to. So let me trim. We'll trim this up a little bit. So I'll put that right there. And then I'll turn it around for you. And I always paint the back if I'm going to give it as a gift or sell it to somebody. But I don't worry about the back otherwise. Really for me. really good that's gonna be cute 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 trim that up just a little bit and kind of have to flip some things around oh that's looking cute y'all it turned out cute what do y'all think cute all right, and we'll put a little bit of wax on this, a little bit of, um, I'm just going to put a little bit of our Distress Oxide. I think I'll try the um, Walnut Stain, and I do I do have some ink to re-ink these, too. Let me try a little bit of that around on our, so that it takes the edges aren't so stark. Kind of blends it in a little bit on our print here makes it look a little bit more fallish and takes away from that paper. Nothing wrong with the paper, but I like to kind of blend mine in a little bit. And then I like to put a little bit here on my pumpkin as well. You can put wax, oxide, whatever you want. Let's put just a little bit on our little piece here to kind of bring it kind of more into the fall season. Just kind of play with them. Just play with your oxides, play with your inks, play with your wax, and just come up. You, you know, you can take it off. You can wipe your wax off. This you can paint over. I use the oxides. There is a difference. Um, I use these, and then I usually seal on top. Because if you use the inks, it's permanent. But if you use this oxide, if you get too much or something, you can paint over it. So that's the difference in the inks and the oxides and these are Tim Holtz so they're getting harder to find so I'm hoping they're still going to carry them in places then you can put a little bit on this pumpkin too just a little bit I'm not going to put a lot don't want to take from it but I'm just kind of putting a little bit just to just to give those edges just a little look there and I think I'll put a little bit on this pumpkin and that's going to kind of cover where I accidentally kind of tore it just a little bit. I'm just going to do that, and that's going to fix that little place there. That's what you do. I may have to put a little glue on it. There we go. Y'all give me a heart if y'all like it. Turned out cute, didn't it? Thank y'all for being here with me today. I wanted to show you how you can use the paints and make some different things. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Branya. Just some different things, y'all, that you can just mix and match. You can find, you don't have to use these kind of pumpkins. Just find you a pumpkin cutout. Find them at the dollar store and just get you a piece of wood. Just put you some paint on the background. It kind of looks like fallen leaves and just brush the paint on. I'd, I'd go back and watch. I just took a paintbrush and just painted some of the colors on top of that brown. That's all I did. Then I sanded the edges with a sand tool. And easy, simple, but quick and fun. 
never late Estella we can always watch replay and what you missed I hope you enjoyed being here I enjoyed seeing you today thank y'all and you can go and look at my schedule it's on my page I post it every week usually try to post it on Sunday and I will be on again this week um, I'll also be on Kathy's page Kathy and Josie collaborate quite a bit and I'll be on Kathy's page so just check my schedule for that and um, I hope that y'all enjoyed it today. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the love. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you sharing uh, and getting Josie out there. And um, I will see you again. I've got to do my schedule for next week. So maybe on next week or the next. Just depends. This week I've got to do some work at church. So my schedule's kind of short this week. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you for being with me and thank you for uh, your sharing and your suggestions and I love the way it came out. See you soon.